At Oxford College of Business, we offer world-class business qualifications awarded by some of the best universities in the world. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. Geeta Kumar Singha was elected to parliament from the Gaul district in 2015 via the United People's Freedom Alliance. Following her maiden election to parliament, four voters from the Gaul district filed a case in March 2015 claiming that Geeta Kumar Singha held dual citizenship. When the petition was taken up, Deputy Solicitor General Janak De Silva informed the Court of Appeal that by the time nomination was called for the 2015 election, respondent Geeta Kumar Singha already held citizenship of both Switzerland and Sri Lanka and was thereby ineligible to hold a seat in parliament. Despite the MP's claims of renouncing her Swiss citizenship, the Deputy Solicitor General added that she had been unable to provide necessary documentation to back up her claim. Since she had not responded to the request from the Controller General of Immigration and Emigration to forward relevant documents, Deputy Solicitor General Janak De Silva explained that her position in Parliament is illegal and against the Parliamentary Elections Act. When the case was taken up today before a tri-member bench including the Chair of the Appeals Court, Widget Malalgoda, the Court of Appeal ruled that an individual holding dual citizenship is ineligible to become a parliamentarian as per the 19th Amendment to the Constitution. Accordingly, the Court ordered to recover all expenses borne by government from from the day Geeta Kumar Singha was sworn in as a parliamentarian. Speaking to media, however, MP Geeta Kumar Singha today said she will challenge the decision at the Supreme Court tomorrow. This is a surprise for me. I never expected something like this. But anyway, this is a court order, so I have to bow. I never want to go against that. I think I have another chance. Till today, we didn't get the papers. After we get the papers, definitely we are going to go to the Supreme Court. Uh, we are waiting. I know there will be a justice for me. If the Supreme Court upholds the ruling, her position will be passed to parliamentarian PSA Nagamage, who came seventh on the UPFA list from the Gaul district during the 2015 general election. Naturally, it is the next on the list who gets the opportunity of holding the position. If that happens, I should get the position. 